هر آنچه که ذهن انسان بتواند تصور و باور کند دست یافته است. Does that sound familiar? No? Don't know Farsi? Okay. Let me try that in English. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. No point of you, sir, but what does this mean? What if I, a young woman living in Tehran, who only speaks Farsi, want to become a scientist in America? That's what he's saying. To achieve my dream, what needs to happen? I'll tell you what I did. I came to America and I studied to become a scientist. That was easy. No, I don't mean the study part. The process. It's all step by step. University, then graduate school, then now I launched my diagnostic company a clinical laboratory in the Washington, D.C. area. Today, in my laboratory, we provide many genetic tests and other high complex diagnostic tests to translate precision medicine approaches into clinical practice and improve patient care. See, I am a clinical scientist and an entrepreneur dream achieve. Hop through the right hoops and everything is good, right? If you fail only, that is it. Everything I said is true, but I skip a few things. First, to get into college, I had to compete with millions of people through the nationwide Iranian university entrance exam, known as Concord. Only a few thousands are accepted every year, as shown in green in this graph. After entering into college for each class, I took a bunch of tests. And with some classes, a year and final exam. Then I came to America to attend graduate school that involved the GRE and TOTOL. Once I was in, more tests to get my master's at MPL. To graduate from PhD, more tests, including but not limited to comprehensive exam. After PhD, I started postdoc, followed by a clinical genetics fellowship at NIH. Then the big test that every clinical fellow must pass. That's called the American Board Certification Exams held by the American Board of Medical Specialties. My specialty is clinical molecular genetics and genomics. There are a few hundred multiple choice questions. It takes a few hours. I had to pass that too. That means my entire clinical future, that is becoming a board certified clinical geneticist. Actually, my dream was dependent on what happens during a long working day coloring in dogs. About the board, I took the test. It's a good thing I passed. Otherwise, what would I do for the next couple of years? I should tell you the truth. I didn't pass. I almost did. I missed a few questions. Maybe I hesitated and chose letter B instead of letter C. All I had to do was to choose a couple of more letters correctly. Only a few dots. I don't want to oversimplify it. I missed a few questions and they were hard questions covering important material. However, if I had converted some of those incorrect answers into correct ones, I would have passed. That simple. I'm not whining. I run a successful business. In my chosen field, I have the right to whine. You see, I 
press forward. I went back after two years and passed the test. This time, I chose all the correct letters on the big test. The thing is, I'm a terrible test taker. But how did I earn my PhD in genetics? If all you see are my test scores, the good and the bad, you miss the bigger story. I didn't follow the usual path into the sciences. In fact, I started in the arts. By the time I was 23, I had taught literature at the university, was a director of an art and literature series at the national TV, had judged a poetry competition, and published a book about the prosody of poems. That built in me the knowledge that I could learn anything. This isn't the story about persistence. Instead, I want to point out the frailty in the system. If you limit the qualified by the test they take, you leave behind who could change industry, academia, or even the world. What qualifies anyone to do anything? How many mentors or billionaires are out there who don't have a college degree? Or major investors who don't have an MBA? We all know about Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. They don't have college degrees. Both dropping out of Harvard. As a result, we now have Facebook and Microsoft. Elon Musk dropped out of his PhD program at Stanford, deciding instead to launch an internet startup. It's not just tech. There is Anna Winter. She's the self-made editor of Folk Magazine. Richard Schultz, too. He founded this bike. The Wright brothers never even finished high school. Think about that. The next time you're flying at some 30,000 feet. I have college, by the way. I learned a lot, which helps me tremendously. What I want to see improve is how the qualified people for jobs, for school, for success, for their future. Bearing my geneticist hat for a moment, our genome is 99.9% identical. Mine, yours, and your next door neighbor. Each one of us is 100% a human being. Do we want all so-called experts to stay cookie-cutter PhDs? Tests are just one hurdle. What if artists were pushed to a filter? Can you imagine if the Beatles all had to pass guitar or drum attacks? Then there is Frida Kahlo, the Mexican painter. She is the artist teaching herself how to paint after a boss accident left her bedridden for months. Would she have been held back if she had to sit for years coloring dots instead of painting? What about inventors? Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Edison. Can you imagine those guys writing essays about the history of gravity? It is rational to question the standardization details of evaluation, and we must, we must if you want innovation, we must if you want problem solvers, we must if you want leaders. Excellence doesn't come from people who check the right boxes. Excellence comes from people who learn, who think, and who apply in new ideas in a wonderful way. That way, we can evolve and grow as a society. I challenge you students, and we are all students, to look inside of ourselves and realize that our best qualities of extensions of what we're made of. That 
99.9%, that makes us similar. The 0.1%, which distinguishes us from each other, and that 100% that unifies us. We previously taught that the 0.1% difference in our genome determines our fate. But now we know that's not accurate. Environmental factors can in fact influence those genes through epigenomics and other mechanisms. Epigenomic means any additional change in our genetic sequence. A research study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences compared epigenomic patterns in 40 identical twin pairs. At different ages, the study showed that younger twin pairs who shared similar lifestyle and same work years living together had very similar epigenomic pattern. In multiple tissue types, however, the older twin pairs who had different lifestyle and had the same fewer years living together had much different pattern. Suggesting an important role of environmental factors on human genome. While we as human beings cannot choose some of those environmental factors in society, we can certainly choose to be hard workers, hard thinkers, and intensely focused to define our fate. To you leaders, you gatekeepers of dreams, look deeply into each person. Get beyond statistical norms, exams, and demographics. Learn the whole person. The artist might really be a scientist looking to understand genetics. I understand this is a hard challenge. However, in the 21st century, are we ready to assess individuals by a multifactorial approach rather than multiple choice and standardized exams? Is it fair to ask ourselves and as a society that such evaluation method can be biased due to psychological factors such as fear of failure, ambiguous future and career, stress, lack of time, and other environmental factors, rather than only a lack of knowledge? Yes, it's time to change our perspective. And to you trainees who failed the key exam, do not give up on your dreams. The only system or individual that must recognize your potential is yourself. Jalaluddin Muhammad Rumi, known as Molana, the great Persian poem, poet, once wrote, Birun Zetaniz, Haram Shadab, Adam Has, Dar Khud Betala, Haram Shakahi, Ketoi. And I wish you knew Farsi. It's beautiful in the original. Here's a translation. The universe is now outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you already 